All right, listen. Actually, can we, let's go, go back to that for a second. Okay, we're good. All right, listen, and for real this time, the first thing is I'm sick, so today's already just a complete disaster. The second thing is, now I'm reviewing this game on top of it, and that makes it even worse, because now I'm in a no-win situation, given our relationship and our past, and what some of you allege are our legal proceedings. I named my girl Emma and her dream guy Derek, because I live in reality. Emma Watson on a steed, it's all happening. Be a part of it. I don't want this to get weird, but I mean, I, I know what Emma Watson looks like. That's not what Emma Watson looks like. You make me feel emotional. Goodbye, I love Derek. Now, even though it's 2015, there are still people out there who can't accept what love looks like, true love, in its purest form. And that means I'm in a tough situation because no matter what I say in this review, there are gonna be people out there in the comments and in law firms who twist it around and make it sound like, like something that it isn't. So, you, and look, you should all be ashamed of yourselves about that, freaking weirdos. So here's what I'm gonna do, something you didn't expect. I'm gonna review this entire game without making a single comment about Emma Watson. How about that, you freaking weirdos? In fact, I'm gonna review this entire game with Emma Watson. Now who's the weirdo? All right, which character do I want? How'd you know? So this game was released in 2005 for about every platform possible, including the Nintendo DS. Haven't played that version, so I'm not sure if they're the same, but let's be honest, they're, they're probably the same. Look, look, don't make this weird, you guys, okay? You know they're probably the same game. Let's be professionals here. We have a guest. You know, it's kind of bullshit that you're the third option in this game. Like, if I, had I made this, I would have taken a slightly different approach. So the game basically loosely follows the plot of the movie. And look, I'd tell you more about it, but oh, God forbid, someone would get all butthurt over it. Ooh, spoilers, Nick. Yeah, spoilers for a game that's, you know, I've had people tell me that I've spoiled games for them that are like 10, 15 years old. I know, can you believe it? It's ridiculous. How, like, how am I even supposed to react to something like that without calling them names that would then offend them even more? It's like, Oh, I know. Tell me about it. Right, and I'm sure you explained that to Draco before you, you know. Now the game's mostly a simple overhead kind of action game. You know, you run around, you make things move with your wand. Would you stop? You use that monsters and stuff. You can do a bunch of different spells, but. You know, the weird thing is they all use the same buttons. Like seriously, you do you do several different spells just by pressing B. It's so it's like it's like it's context sensitive, which is nice because it's simple, but it also feels like magic on autopilot sometimes. You know, it's like like the game's playing itself. But on the plus side, it does play okay. And the animations fine. You know what? This might have been a decent little game, if not for the level design. They're just so ridiculously long. Like, long to the point of, like, pointlessness. They do not need to be this long. And since the gameplay is actually really shallow, the length of the levels feels even longer. They really overstay their welcome. They're, they're over long. Hello, I've waited here for you. Would you stop? We're on camera. You know, they're kind of a mess to look at, too. Like, the graphics are just... I mean, I, I guess they're they're technically okay, they're kind of average for the GBA. But then again, on the other hand, I mean, you, you also couldn't do this kind of style that much better on the GBA either, so. Although well, look at that, look at that, they took away your face. Who made that decision? And are they still collecting unemployment benefits? <laughs> There's a 
a bunch of mini games and different kinds of levels that split up the monotony a little bit, and that's nice. Then again, this crap does get pretty monotonous, and, and, and it wouldn't be so bad, but again, these levels are just way too long. But, all in all though, I would say, it's not a bad game, it's just, you know, it's, it's, look, it's another slightly above average licensed game on the GBA. I mean, I had an okay time with it. How was it for you? It's Harry Potter Goblet of Fire for the Game Boy Advance. See, and you guys thought this would get weird. You should be ashamed of yourselves. Ugh! I just cut my tongue.